Hey guys, welcome back to another Coding Flamingo video. If you went to Microsoft Ignite last week or tuned in, you probably heard of Azure Certificate Based Authentication, Microsoft's new passwordless way to combat phishing. Well, this might be new tech for you. Governments have been actually using it for many, many years, but before you had to have all this kind of complex infrastructure, and now Microsoft makes it that with Azure, all you need is your smart card, your smart card provider, and you can authenticate. And this not only makes it more secure since you're actually fully removing passwords from users which is the number one cause of security breaches, but it also makes authentication much faster. So how it works is each user gets a smart card. That smart card has a certificate with their username and they use that to authenticate. How is that unfishable? Because basically the smart card that protects the certificate cannot leave the smart card. So it doesn't matter what the user does. It is very hard for an attacker to actually steal that credential. So now that we know kind of how it works and why it's so good, Let's see how easy it is to set up in Azure. So all we have to do is go to Azure as a global administrator, go to security, and in here we're gonna click certificate authorities and we're gonna upload a certificate authority that we're gonna use. And here you would put the URL of your certificate revocation list. So when you revoke a certificate, users can no longer use it. And you would select whether it's a root certificate or not and then you're going to click add. In my case, I had already added it, so I didn't add all this information. And then we're going to go back into security, authentication methods, and you'll see here at the bottom, this certificate based authentication. We're going to click in and here you can see it's already enabled and I already enabled it for all users. But another thing you have to configure is the protection level. So you will be wondering why, why if, uh, you're saying that it's the most secure way to authenticate, there is an option of single factor and multi-factor. The reason for this is because you can have certificate based authentication with a certificate in the device. So you could have Intune push a certificate into, into the computers or cell phones and use that certificate to authenticate. And that's technically a single factor because it's only something you have. But if you do the multi-factor, if you're using a smart card, it's actually a multi-factor authentication because it's something you have, the smart card, and something you know, the pin to unblock the smart card. So in here you add it, you add the rule with the certificate authority that we just created. So in here you would select the certificate, whether you want to count it as single factor or multi-factor. So for example, you could have one certificate authority issue certificates for cell phones and the other one for smart cards. And you have one multi-factor, one so, uh, single factor, and then the user binding. So the certificate itself is going to have the username in it. And you have to tell Azure where in the certificate that is. Most certificate authorities will put just principal name and it'll map to the user principal name in Azure. So by default, it'll kind of work. And for example, in here will be my me at coding flamingo username. So once you have all this set up, now you have to do the user onboarding and getting that user certificate. In this case, we're going to use our sponsor, which is easy smart card and full disclosure. I am part owner and the lead developer for creating this tool and this is why it looks so awesome and it's in .NET MAUI. So I'm going to link down below all the information on how to set that up. But in here, we're just going to use kind of like as if we already have it set up and just create the certificate so we can authenticate. So I'm going to plug in my YubiKey. And since I'm already logged in with my Flamingo account, I'm just going to go to request new certificate, select the account I want to use, enter my PIN. And I'm going to request a certificate in here. I'm, it's going to explain me how the YubiKey is going to flash and what I have to do. How do I have to touch it? I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to overwrite the certificate that I already have. And just like that, it created the certificate. So now I'm ready to authenticate. So I'm just going to open an incognito window, enter my username. Select the certificate, enter my PIN, and we authenticate it. So it's way faster than having like the multi-factor phone, auth, and password and everything. And it's more secure because it's protected by a smart card. So that's how you enabled Azure certificate-based authentication in Azure. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.